If you were sad about the end of the current GT350 and bullet models, I've got a little news to ease your pain. Ford currently has a new version of their classic Mach 1 in the works, and it could be packing more than 500 ponies under the hood. Here's everything known so far. For the Mach 1, Ford will still be using their beloved Coyote engine, but for all you guys who love to say five points slow, you might have to hold off for a sec. Ford Authority told us that sources, quote, familiar with product plans, have said Ford is shooting for 525 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. The normal 2020 GTs have 460, bullets have 480, and they both had 420 torque. Although I mostly see people referring to the Mach 1 as a replacement for the Bullet, it's also an indirect replacement for the GT350, which had 526 horsepower. So it seems as though Ford wants this to be a comparable machine to that. It's currently unknown how they're going to achieve this power boost, but after all the beefed up 5.0s I've seen, I don't doubt they'll find a way. I think it's pretty sick that they're bringing the Mach 1 name back up. I'm a pretty big fan of the New Edge GTs, and I think the Mach 1 of that generation looks awesome. However, this hopefully is just because we've only seen test mules, but I see an issue. I see a major issue. I see a Brobdig Nagian issue. There's no shaker. I feel like not having a shaker hood on this bad boy would be such a missed opportunity and just wrong. The 2020 platform looks great, they're upping the power for the Mach 1, and they'll be filling in the gap left by the retired GT350 and bullet trims, but that shaker is iconic. Like I said, it might be and most likely is just because this isn't their final product and they don't want to show something like that to everyone so soon. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. For some depressing news that's a little obvious at this point, I guess, Ford's chief engineer says it's only a matter of time before there's EV Mustangs. This was after Ford unveiled its electric S550 at SEMA 2019 that they created with the company Wabasto. Probably the weirdest part is that they fitted it with a six-speed manual, which to me makes no sense because the stick shifts in America's market today are bought by the enthusiasts who love the driving experience, an experience which is largely contributed to by the beautiful sounds of a combustion engine, but I digress. If they want to make an electric option, I'll never be happy to see it and you'll never see me buy one, but they can do what they want. What'll really get me is if they stop offering V8s altogether, whether it's because of smaller engines or these vacuum cleaners. To clarify, since I probably sound a little worked up, it's not electric cars I have a problem with. It's getting rid of the great sounding combustion engines and the things that car enthusiasts love most. I'm a little curious, tell me in the comments how you feel about the Mach 1 or Ford electrifying the Mustang. Also, if there's anything you'd like to see a video on, I'd love to hear it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, tap that like button and subscribe to Liberty Drives for automotive news as well as my take on the good, the bad, and the funny parts of being a car enthusiast. I appreciate you all, thanks very much for watching, have a great day.